Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun coming at you again with another quick tip. We had a question uh, today from Ghoul and he said, uh, I want to create a VBA code for inserting a template sheet uh, with the current sheet name plus one. So for example, he said, if you have a sheet and it's the worksheet name is five and I want to press a button for inserting the template sheet uh, so basically inserting the next sheet if the current sheet was named five the next one would be called six and it should ignore any sheet names that are not numeric while it's numbering so if you had a sheet called hello there or hello there six if you press this procedure it would still not increase it but if the sheet was named six and only numeric sheet name then it would create a new sheet and it would rename that new sheet so let's go ahead and try this out we're going to go ahead and open up a new worksheet. So let's go ahead and open up our Excel workbook and get started with a clean slate. This is a brand new worksheet. I'm zooming in a little bit. And let's hit Alt F11 and go to the Visual Basic Editor. So normally what we're going to do in here inside the Book 1 procedure is we'll double click on this workbook because inside of the This Workbook object there is something called Workbook Events. So we don't want to do it when the workbook opens. We don't want this macro to trigger. And normally I would say we want it to trigger on the new sheet event. So I'll get rid of this. Uh, basically for uh, whenever a new sheet is created, it would automatically trigger this. The only problem with that is whenever you create, uh, whenever you trigger a new sheet event, it's already looking at the new sheet and it, it, there's not an easy way to figure out what the last sheet that we just used was called. So what I'm going to do is a combination of these two things. So I'm going to use, um, basically, we're going to trigger the macro, the macro on whatever sheet we're in, and the the reason we're going to do that is because we will be st still be on the active sheet, and we'll still be able to determine what the active sheet is before selecting and creating the new sheet. That way, we can obtain the name of whatever sheet we need, and then we can trigger the new sheet uh, by just telling it to create a new sheet, and that will finish out the procedure. So let's create a new module and we'll put this macro in there. We're just going to say sub and hit the space bar. We'll just give it a name. We'll call this one create new sheet. Okay, that's fine. Create new sheet. So what we're going to do, let's get the first we'll get the get the sheet name of the active sheet. So that's going to be uh, cur name We'll just create a variable to store this equals active sheet dot name. And now we need to determine whether this is numeric. Is numeric? And if it is, we can proceed. And if not, we'll just, who cares? We don't care about uh, making a new one with the new number. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the current name uh, which is the variable we just created we're going to use what's called the is numeric function the is numeric function open parentheses if is numeric the current worksheet name that we just trapped if that's true if it is numeric then and I'll put my end if at the end so I don't forget so if it's numeric then we'll proceed with that event otherwise this is going to do nothing it's just going to create a new sheet but it's not going to do the numbering so create sheet no numbering else create sheet use numbering okay so we have two different ways that we could go with this let's try this out I'm gonna hit F8 to start stepping through the code so first of all the current name just trapped the active sheet dot name in a variable so if you hover over the variable it says sheet one so that looks good now we're gonna determine if sheet one if the current name variable contents is numeric so let's hit F8 and so it goes to the else which means it would run any code in this else section here okay so uh, if it is then we're just going to create a new sheet but we're not going to number it or anything so we're going to say this workbook dot sheets dot add and that means add a new sheet so let's see here and I'm gonna copy and paste that over here 
but with this one we're going to do something a little special so let's go ahead and run through this scenario so if that is numeric then it would go to this else statement which would just do this workbook dot sheets dot add so that's add a new sheet let's hit f8 and see what it does it uh, it adds a new sheet and it's going trying to trigger this uh, worksheet new sheet event which I don't even think we need actually with this I don't think we're going to need the the worksheet uh, the sheets add after all because I think we can do that all within this procedure so now if it was numeric so let's go ahead and stop this macro let's go ahead and say that this sheet is just the value of three the sheet name is simply three and we know that is numeric so let's go ahead and run it now so if I hit F8 of course we have the current name which is three now note that the number three is in quotes it is a string of text you can't really save a number or an integer as the title of a sheet so it stores it as if it was a string of text but the is numeric function can determine if three is a number even if it's in quotes even if it's a string of text so let's hit f8 and sure enough it says hey that looks like a number that that is numeric we're gonna go with that so because it is it can convert and matriculate or do a addition or math or whatever with that uh, so we can actually say that we already know what the new sheet name is going to be so we're, let's get new sheet name so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say a current name which we know is uh, three right now the current name is going to be equal to current name plus one or we could say new sheet name it doesn't really matter you can use the variable either way so new sheet name is going to be equal to the current name plus one because we already told it that it is numeric we already figured that out so if I hit F8 it took the text of three but added one to it and converted it to an integer to a number and it knows that the new sheet name should be four okay so now we've got that figured out or we're gonna do the next thing which is create a new sheet and then we're going to uh, rename the new active sheet whenever you uh, create a new sheet whenever you add a new sheet it automatically selects that so we could just say whatever the active sheet is we want to rename that to new sheet name or rather the value within this variable which is four so we're gonna say is active sheet dot name is going to be whatever is inside this variable new sheet name which we can hover and we can see that's four so the new active sheet once this is added once the sheet is added this will be the active sheet so let's hit F8 and prove that okay yep yeah, we've we've activated the new sheet it's currently uh, sheet five as you can see down here but if we change it using this code it'll be now it'll be called four and that's really it so <clears throat> essentially all you have to do is run this code so let's try it now so we're gonna hit uh, let's hit F5 we currently have a sheet called 4 so if we just run this using F5 or click the run or play button let's just click it it should create a new sheet and automatically name that 5 let's hit F5 yep create a new sheet named it 5 create a new sheet named it 6 create a new sheet named it 7 but if I click on something that is not numeric alt F11 yeah so sheet 1 for example if I click on this and and run this it'll just create a new sheet but it will not rename it using our naming convention because this is not numeric okay now there's a lot of error catching you could do you could do something to say hey listen <clears throat> let's say I accidentally clicked on four again and I hit the create a new sheet uh, it's going to try to create a duplicate sheet it's going to say hey we, we already have a sheet named sheet uh, we already have a sheet named five so there's a lot of things you can do with this but this is the foundational code that should get you there so i hope this helped and um, thanks for watching and don't forget to click like or subscribe if this helped you at all